I travel too much to keep a dog of my own, but I love dogs and tend to adopt them wherever it is I'm traveling. In Quebec City, my dog was Santol, a Bernese mountain dog who lives in quite a dog house. Santol resides at the Chateau Frontenac, which is one of the most iconic hotels in the world, built in 1893 and with 618 rooms. Santol began his career as a guide dog for young blind children, and then he moved on to the Chateau Frontenac, where he still works as the canine ambassador. Basically, that means he gets pet by a lot of strangers and staff. He's a lovely dog, though, a very nice, peaceful disposition, and he's older. Santol just turned nine years old this year. There's really nothing that makes me feel more at home than a big, friendly dog. And so I took Santol on a walk through the promenades and parks of Quebec City. So Santal has spent most of his life at the Chateau Frontenac here in Quebec City. He's the hotel's dog and he just shows a lot of love to everybody in the lobby and I'm lucky enough to get to play with him today. Santal showed me around his backyard of Quebec City, but he also took me up on his roof at the Chateau Frontenac where I was lucky enough to meet Chef Jean Soulard of the Chateau Frontenac and visit his chicken coop. Yes, the chef keeps chickens on the roof. <laughs> Santol displayed great interest in the chickens, as did I. These are Chanticleer chickens, a very rare breed of chicken that dates back four centuries to the settlement of Quebec. The chickens were not happy about having the dog around, but I was. He was a great guide, and I got to see so many corners of the hotel and the city that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. 